Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 30th of September. I continue me meditating with you in the importance of being a disciple of Jesus Christ, a person who has been born from above. To help him in these meditations, I'm meditating Philippians chapter 1 verse 11, where Paul says that we are going to be filled with the fruit of God's righteousness, that is through Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. And we are reading verses in the New Testament where the word righteousness appears. And today I would like to read with you in Romans chapter 9 verse 30. What then shall we say? That the Gentiles who, who did not pursue righteousness have obtained a righteousness, a righteousness that is by faith. Three times he said talking about righteousness. Why did the people of Israel... Not everyone, but some of them didn't uh, ac had access to God's righteousness. He's going to answer that in the follow following verses, like verse 31, Romans chapter 9, 31. But the people of, of Israel who pursued the law as the way of righteousness have not attained their goal. The, some Gentiles, like the Romans, they attained the goal because they were searching for God's righteousness. By faith, But some of uh, the descendants of Abraham, they didn't. Why? Because they were looking, they were pursuing the law as a way of righteousness. And that doesn't work. It's not because you are a religious person that you're going to think to and to walk like God. It is only God that can do that. So you have to trust in him. You have to receive eternal life. That's all by faith. It's not because you are supposed to be a good person. It's not because you were born in a so-called Christian country. It is not because your parents are Christians. It's because you have trusted in him. You have believed in him. And then you are going to walk like God, God walks. And that is being a, a righteous person. Romans chapter 9 verses 32 and 32, 3. Why not? Why didn't Israel could actually attain that righteousness? Because they pursued it not by it, not by faith, says Paul, but as if it were by works. They stum stumbled over the stumbling stone, as it is written in the book of Isaiah. See, I lay in Zion a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fail. Fall, sorry, and the one who believes in him will never be put to shame. So you want you either stumble or you receive God's righteousness in your life, and all you have to do is to trust in him. It's by faith. Those who tried through work, they stumbled in the rock of ages. But if you trust in him, you'll be declared a, a righteous person before God. The Holy Spirit will come. And it will transform your life. And if you have the Holy Spirit, you have a trust. If you have a trust in him, you are walking like God walks. And that is the way of God's righteousness. God bless you.